Now, so you're probably asking yourself, well, how can you win this thing? So what I need you to do is I need you to download this backing track. What's happening, good people? Today, we're hopping on that crazy train. Today, we have the MXR Distortion Randy Rhodes signature model. You may have seen these, they were on there and then they were off the internet like a flash. Only 3,200 of these were sold and we were lucky enough to get one. And from the beginning, you heard me say that we're on the crazy train. That's because the reason why I bought this, I knew that these were gonna be price gouged and I bought it to give away. That's the kind of person I am. In all seriousness, I hate when you see these uh, new pedals that come out and they um, are a limited edition and people grab them up right away and they try to price gouge them. So I'm gonna save one of you peoples from actually having to buy this thing for $600, $700, depending on what they're going for now. But first, I wanna hear what it sounds like. For those of you that don't know who Randy Rhodes is, he actually was a founding member of Quiet Riot and then was on two, I believe two Ozzy albums, uh, Diary of a Madman and Blizzard of Oz, I believe. And unfortunately, at time, untimely death, he died in a uh, plane crash back in 1982. Uh, I was only two, so I never got to hear any of his stuff live or in person. So it basically has two knobs, output and distortion, and it has his signature polka dot uh, cool styling on here. So just a little interesting note about uh, Randy. When he uh, first tried out for Ozzy Osbourne, to quote Ozzy Osbourne, not literally because who knows what he actually really can say, but he said he played this f***ing solo and I'm like, am I f stoned or am I hallucinating or what the f*** it is? I mean, he probably was stoned and hallucinating, but he hired him right on the spot. So if you haven't listened to anything from him, Definitely check them out. And while I'm tuning up, you know, you should hit that subscribe button down below. It won't hurt you. And give this video a like. It'll share it with more people. So of course, I don't own a Randy Rhodes uh, style guitar, but the closest thing I have to it is this uh, Tease Telecaster. We're just running through the uh, clean channel of the Marshall DSL-40, and we're just gonna kick on the uh, Distortion Plus. Now the Distortion Plus is designed specifically to the specifications of actually Randy Rhodes's pedal itself. They actually were able to, I guess, clone it and have it sound exactly how it should sound. So we'll give you some clean for reference. All right, here's something a little bit more Randy-esque.
Now, so you're probably asking yourself, well, how can you win this thing? So what I need you to do is I need you to download this backing track and write me a riff in A minor. I'm just kidding. Um, if you didn't notice from that review, I have no talent myself. And I wouldn't expect you to. I'm sure there's plenty of people out there a lot better than me that are watching right now. And thank you very much. All I ask is that you're subscribed. And that's about it. And then one day, we're just going to give this away. It's going to be on a live stream. So you're going to want to tune into them. Hopefully they're not too boring for you. And I'll let you in on a secret. It's going to be this year. So you're not going to have to hang around forever. But I would appreciate it if you stayed subscribed. If you don't like the content, just unclick that notification bell and you'll still see me pop up every once in a while, but it's not gonna say, hey, this dummy put out a new video. I really appreciate you all watching. You've all been a fantastic audience. And as always, stay tuned.